President Obama is still in Washington, scheduled to leave Andrews Air Force Base at 11 o'clock this morning. That puts him into Bradley just after noon, and while his arrival is still hours off, officials there and at Connecticut State University, where he, Central Connecticut State University, rather, where he is scheduled to speak, need that time to get ready. News 8's Ken Pierce is live at CCSU in New Britain, where it is uh, not an easy feat to roll out the red carpet for the president, Kent. No, it never is. There's so many preparations that have to be done. Most of them we're never even going to see or know about because they're happening behind the scenes and have to do with security. We've seen a few workers going in those doors this morning. Right back there is Kaiser Hall. That's where President Obama is going to be speaking at about 2.30 this afternoon. People who have tickets, they're going to be let in starting at 11.30 this morning. But if you don't have a ticket already, you are not going to be going inside. All those tickets have been given out already. Students lined up for hours yesterday on campus to get those tickets. Not that many of them available. Uh, and they're being very closely guarded around here. Uh, nobody's going to be allowed in without a ticket. Certainly now the students and everybody else who's coming in to see the president, they're also going to see four governors, Governor Malloy of Connecticut, but also the governors of Vermont, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island are going to be joining President Obama here to support him in his effort to try to raise the minimum wage. That is what today's speech is about. President Obama wants to see the federal minimum wage raised to $10.10 an hour in his budget planning, Governor Malloy has already planned that for Connecticut for the state minimum wage to go to $10.10 by the year 2017. But how do people feel about that in general? Well, Quinnipiac University released a poll just yesterday that included that topic, what the public thinks about raising the minimum wage, and by a margin of nearly three to one, voters overwhelmingly back raising the minimum wage. That's according to a poll of registered voters done by QU. The poll released Tuesday showed a sharp divide among various groups about the minimum wage. Democrats have been pushing this as a major issue in this fall's election. 93% of Democrats in Connecticut support hiking the minimum wage, uh, with 6% opposed. A majority of Republicans, though, are against raising the minimum wage. We're live outside uh, the Kaiser Hall of Central Connecticut State University. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.